Yo, what's going on guys? Bobby here and today we are back with another video. Now before we get started, I wanted to ask you guys a question. If you guys can help just come up with YouTube video ideas, leave something in the comment section below if I like the video and if I choose to take that idea, I will buy you guys a Brawl Pass whenever the next season is. I think it's in, okay, in 13 days. So I got you guys with the new Brawl Pass if I use your idea. Um, and I need a lot of ideas. So put as many as you guys want in the comment section, upvote the ones you guys like. Uh, with that being said, though, I am going to show you the final games of our qualifiers to show you guys if we qualified to the monthly finals or not. They're actually pretty intense versus, I think, the fifth or sixth team in NA right now. Um, so they're pretty close, and it was between, you know, two pretty good teams. So we're going to hop into it. Let me show you guys the game, and uh, let's get started. So it's just the best of three, best of three, you know, kind of the usual format um, of, you know, lower tier competitive games outside of the monthly finals. Um, so they went ahead and I, oh, we first picked Nani, I think, or they first picked Gene. It was one of the two. Um, but anyways, they have a pretty, like, beefy comp. They have, uh, Pam, they have Fang, they have Gene. So we thought we don't really need a thrower. Uh, we don't really need anything that's super, you, I don't know, weak, I guess. We thought we'll just go the Nani, the Piper, and the Ruffs, and we'll just break all the walls open, try and hit enough shots, and hopefully, uh, we'll win the game. This is something that we're kind of accustomed to doing um, on our team, which is kind of just the let's hit more shots strategy. Um, it's, I guess, it's a it's a comfort zone for us for sure. But uh, anyways, I think they have a little bit of a better comp. What Toonie's doing with his Nani heads here is because he's getting them so easily and because the opposing team has so much HP, what Toonie's doing is just opening up the map, which allows us to be able to hit a lot more shots and just doesn't really give them any area to move up the map. Now, Genie does go for a pull there. He does go down, and we're able to pick up two kills. So that's a very big part of this game. It kind of opens it up, and now when they were looking very threatening, they're now not as threatening. So I'm just in the bush with a power-up right now, just trying to keep them all tapped, trying to keep them all low. Genie's going to the left side, and uh, Mally just has his super. And okay, something crashed, but anyways, we're back. Uh, it's the same thing though. We're kind of just shooting shots. We're trying to hit as many shots as possible and just keep them as far back as we can. Um, I selected my curve by accident. Really great curve there. But Toonie's just going in with his Nani head. Really not much that he can do since they have so much HP. So Genie's just chipping away. He's trying to get his super. Z is just trying to juke his way up the map. And finally they get us back. Um, so Mally's gonna come in. He's gonna try and get a little bit dangerous. I jump away. OG gets 10% there, which is some really bad timing for 10%. Toonie does go down, but we're in the corner. We got bags. Uh, we got a bunch of utility, kind of. So we're, we're fine. We're going to take game one. Uh, so let's head into game number two. So going into game number two, game one went really well. Basically exactly as we wanted. Uh, got two early kills and then kind of just stood our ground. So that was our goal for this game. Um, and that it's kind of on me a little bit to get the kills So I'm just trying to get as many taps as possible OG's just kind of holding it down trying to get his supers and then Toonie he's more in charge of the wall break um, So I'm just going for my taps. I have to three hit Z which is a little bit difficult uh, Definitely not the easiest thing in the world, but I am a piper I do take some pride in my piper. So it's you know doable genie's kind of just chilling He's trying to heal up his team. He's trying to do everything for his team Zini and Mally, or not Zini, Z and Mally are both one shot. So I kind of just curve auto aim and whoever it hit, it hit. It chose Z. Uh, so we're able to get a quick kill over there. Genie's got his pull pretty early on right now. Mally's still looking for his. Um, so, you know, pretty interesting state of the game right now. Now everyone on their team has their supers. Toonie has his. And right up here, I thought there was a chance Toonie could get pulled. Maybe it wasn't here. Maybe it was a little bit later. Yeah, I think actually it is right here. So Mally goes down. Okay, never mind. It isn't there. Mally and OG go down. Or ever, everyone, I guess, kind of goes down. Except for me, Z, and Genie. So it's 6-5 there. So they only need one kill now. And I think this is where I think Toonie uses his head. And he tries to get a kill. And then he walks back up the map. And I think Genie could have gotten a pull on him. Uh, but he didn't end up doing so. Yeah, it was definitely right here. I think he was definitely close enough to get the pull. But Genie doesn't go for it. And now we're kind of just holding... Trying to just do our thing and just hold off. I think OG said he still has three bags left at this point. So now we're kind of just moving back. We decided we're going to stand behind the bags. Try not to feed the Fang Super because Fang Super obviously is really scary. Toonie's going to grab his Nani head. He's going to go all the way around. And he's going to kill Mally and get Genie to one shot. I'm just going to curve Genie. That's going to be a free kill. And that is going to be set number one for us basically perfectly played so going into this set uh don't mind the slime gene this is not my skin 
I'm an evil gene player. OG, this is OG skin from when we traded. There's a bug or something, but I just wanted to get that out of the way. So basically, they're gonna have, you know, kind of a similar comp. They're gonna have the Pam and the Fang again on Hard Rock Mine. Instead of a Gene, though, they're gonna have a Crow. So very, very similar type of comp here where they kind of just slowly push you down and then they have one game-changing brawler, that being Fang. Um, and we have Ruffs, Gene, and Max. So we like our comp a lot. Um, they have a little bit of a counter into our comp. I wouldn't say Pam is necessarily the greatest mid. We banned 8-bit so that we can get Gene and pull the Pam because 8-bit you can't really pull. Um, and we want to go Gene, Ruffs, and Max. We got the comp that we wanted. They just seem to have a really good counterplay for it in the Crow because me and Toonie, we can't really travel together and go up together. And also, Toonie has a really hard time laning this Crow. So right now, I'm kind of just picking up the gems on my side. Uh, Genie's picking up the gems on his side, but the issue is they have a Fang with Super, and we really, we really don't like Fangs with Super. They're not very fun to play against. They're not very cool. Uh, as you guys can see, he is Popcorn Fang, though, which I assume was an accident, was told was an accident. Uh, but just, like, the pressure from the Fang, even without the stun, and the Crow Slows is allowing them to get gems on our side. So now it's pretty, you know, lopsided for them, to say the least. We have a Fang in our spawn using its popcorn. I think I'm able to finish it off right there, but they have nine gems, which is pretty scary. Toonie has his speed, though, so he's going to give it to us. I know Genie. Genie's a very, very passive player, so he is not going to go for any wild gems. He does go for that one, though. I'm able to get the pull, but unfortunately, you know, we just don't have the HP, the ammo, the positioning to get the kill, so we go down and they're actually going to take game number one of set number two. So good start to them. You know, popcorn, fang, and everything. Uh, let's hop into the next game and let's show you guys the adjustment that we made in game two. So something I think that separates a lot of like the very strong teams with just the semi-pro or the mid-tier or tier two or whatever type of teams is in-game adjustments and stuff that you're able to do and think of to make a game that may not be so favorable a little bit more favorable for you so what we decided was what we decided was we we're going to switch it up and have the dog even though it's way better on the right side with the bounces we're going to have it go on the left side to match the crow and even though it did get super a lot easier versus fang uh we decided that it's worth it just to have the max on the fang this way we're cycling supers with max gene a lot faster we don't have a crow just double slowing and og can kind of just 1v1 the crow and we can kind of just deal with the fang and the uh and the pam fang is going to get a free kill on og right there but it's seven nothing right now it kind of wasted its fang super it could have killed it killed og without the super so and we're still in a good spot the crow switches over so right now they're just trying to switch and get the same matchups but coming out of spawn it's a it's really easy to switch when you have someone coming out of spawn so og he's just gonna switch we're gonna get a nice pinch there on z i think og just auto aims him right there i go for a blind pull i miss mally's gonna super in um you know decent super he gets a kill but i'm able to just kill him and again that's his super gone and he is such a big threat with that super so if he just uses it to kind of trade one for one, it's really not the biggest deal. We'll take that 10 out of 10 times. Um, really no worry for us. So he's going to go in again. We're going to get the speed. So now me and Toonie are both powered up. We're looking really dangerous. We got some positioning. So we're going to go ahead, get gem number 10. And this game definitely went a lot easier for us. So now that we know kind of exactly what we have to do. Oh, you got actually never mind. I shouldn't spoil this end. This end was actually kind of wild. Mally's three shots from super here. And he hits, or maybe he's two, but he hits one and then another. Oh, I guess he was three. But anyways, we're all 1,000 HP. So I think if Mali kills OG, he gets his super back. And then he clicks his yellow button one more time. He kills everyone. And then everyone is just team wiped. I don't know, in like two seconds. And he just supers away and they win. So one more second and they actually win that game. But, you know, time ran out. Went our way. So let's hop into game number three. And let's show you guys the adjustments they made for game number three. So here we go into game number three, and I was kidding. They didn't really make any adjustments. They're not that smart. No offense, Genie. Um, but, uh, but yeah, it's kind of the same thing. So the crow switch sides, um, and this is exactly what we want. We want roughs on the right side to be dealing with the crow. Um, if they keep switching, that's fine, because our comp is kind of a double mid where we have us and Max, or well, myself and Max playing the mid versus they kind of just have a crow lane and a pam in the mid and then a fang lane so if they keep switching we're gonna have a lot easier of a time 
just picking up those gems and they are switching so they're actually doing a pretty good job they did make some adjustments so good job by them uh, we get a nice max range pull on genie over there but unfortunately we can't pick up the gems here this crow is just really annoying when they get the matchup right it just hits us both so easily because Max and Jean, they have to play together. It's very, very different when you play solo uh, with Max and Jean, definitely not as strong. So the Crow, it's kind of just having its way with us right now. Genie just walks back up the map. He gets his kill. OG goes down over there to Mali, but we have two power-ups now. So myself and Toonie are both powered up. We're both looking very strong and it's going to be a lot for the Pam to deal with myself and Toonie. So it's 5-5 right now. Genie just got pulled, so I'm sure he doesn't want to get pulled again. I got my pull. Toonie's going to use his gadget to keep his power up, make sure he doesn't die. Mally's going to go for the pull. Or not the pull, sorry. The uh, the dash. He's not going to hit it. And Toonie gets speed at a very good time because we definitely needed that speed over there. Or else we definitely could have gotten wiped very easily. Uh, Mally's trying to be sneaky in the bushes. Luckily, Toonie knows exactly what he's trying to do. So we get the kill over there, and now it is 7-7, seven to seven, so a pretty close game. OG just continuously keeps breaking the walls that Genie keeps putting the Pam turret behind, and now, I mean, it's just really close. It's 8-8, eight, eight. Uh, could be anyone's game right now, but what we do have in our favor is that we are triple powered up now, and the Crow doesn't have any slows. So this is kind of where we want to be, this is the position we want to be in. We can take the gems really easily, and now we have 10, they have 8, but the issue is OG has 1, so even though we pick up gem number 11... OG does go down. He does end up trading with Z though, and I mean, that's a, or not with Z, with Mali, and that's okay, but he drops a gem up there. Two seconds left, they're able to pick up a gem. Let me go back to the spectate. So now we pick up one. It's 11 to 10. They have the next spawn, but I have pull, so Genie can't really go for it. I think Fang should be going for it over here, but the Fang decides not to. OG just, just picks up the gem. Uh, we go for a pull or whatever. Mali goes for a play, but that is going to be it. That is going to end game number three of the set, and we are going to win 2-0 versus the real ones, who, again, they're actually surprisingly a pretty good team. I think they're fifth or sixth in NA, so, I mean, no disrespect to them. They're, my, they're all my friends, but, um, you know, they played all right, but we we did really well this game. It was Toonie's first games in a while, so it was really nice to play with Toonie, really fun uh, to win with him again, and, of course, he does end up getting the star player in his return. But that is going to be it for me today. Again, if you guys have any videos, let me know because I really don't know what to post right now. But uh, yeah, it's going to be it for me and I'll see you guys again soon. Peace. Hey you. Yes, you there watching this on your phone. Have you ever wanted to be the best? The most handsome? The most loved player on your team? And support your favorite creator at the same time? Well, I have good news. You can be all of that and more by using code Bobby. But you have to do it now because this is a limited time offer. Use code Bobby at any Supercell Games store.